Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're looking at the filter tool. The filter is a very useful tool found in our favorite spar. It's also a blue tool, so it's found in the blue preparation category. And then we're using the example from Alteryx um, to, uh, to walk through this tool and, and show it to you. So the most common filter that you'll see is the basic filter. Um, in this case, we're just going to be looking at customer ID, and we're going to say customer ID is greater than 30. So we'll hit our run button and then look down at our results panel, and we'll see that we only have uh, um, customer IDs under 30 on the false side of the filter, but over 30 on the true side of the filter. We're going to look at another basic filter next. Uh, this time we're going to look at is not null. So we're going to filter out our customers whose last name is not included. So we're going to uh, select last name is not null for our filter. We're going to hit the run button or control R. And we're going to see that if we have a last name listed, it's on the true side. If it's not listed, if it's null, it's going to be in the false side. We're going to bring out another filter. This time we're going to filter on a date rather than on a string or a numeric field. You'll notice that the uh, operators on your uh, basic filter change depending on what kind of field you're trying to filter on. So here when we select the join date field, because it is a date time field type, we get a slew of different operators available in the drop down box. So here we'll select less than or equal to and use one of the dynamic options from the drop down for tomorrow. And based on the system time when the workflow is executed, those values will update to tomorrow relative to whenever you're running the workflow. So in this case, January 21st, we see our true and false values. We can also use date time filters with date and period expressions. So from the drop down, we'll again select the join date. And as we scroll all the way down, we'll see start date and period. We can select from a fixed or dynamic reference and we can use the days reference in the drop down, but we also have months and years available, and select the periods to three. So you'll notice here that we have uh, dates that are both in the future and in the past because we're looking three days forward from January 21st, so January 27th is further out, and then we have days in the past as well. Um, if the, the basic filter doesn't work for, for what you need, you can also create a custom filter. In uh, this case, we're going to create a custom filter that's going to query against two columns. So uh, we can select from our existing columns our join date, and we can say for our filter date, if our join date is greater than or equal to our first purchase date, it will be true. Otherwise, it will be false and fall out of our filter. So if we look at the true side and the false side, we'll see that um, our join date is going to be happening before our purchase date because it is less than. Our join date is less than our purchase date. We can also use a custom filter to write a complex expression. So uh, we can um, decide that we want multiple different conditions that we need to meet. So in this case, we want our region to either equal south or we want the region to contain the word west. So that can mean Midwest, Southwest, North West, west. Northwest, west Northeast, West, oh, any, any such West that you want. Um, I think that we're more likely to get something like Midwest or Westeros. just West. Ooh, Westeros, yeah. I don't know, man. That, that, that show is so culturally insignificant compared to what it was a year ago. Crazy. All right. Looking back at our list here, we'll see that uh, the region northeast does not fit equaling either south or containing west. Um, but on the true side of our filter, we have south, south, midwest, west, and midwest. 
Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.